All right, y'all, before we get started with today's video, um, got announced the winner of the To Me Awaken to Steal giveaway uh, that my friends over at Soul Avant Guard uh, put together. All right, so thank you for everybody who watched the video, entered the giveaway. Um, there's gonna be a, a more coming from Soul Avant Guard, so stay tuned in the future for that, okay? But the winner of the Soul Avant guard giveaway is uh my guy josh iguina okay josh iguina it was selected um i do not select the winner the youtube comment picker does as you've seen in the video and josh's favorite emoji is simply the shrug all right <laughs> i call it the jordan shrug you know what i mean so congratulations to josh um josh i'll be in contact once you contact me so email me or dm me on instagram all of your shipping information so I can get over to Savant, uh, Savant Soul Avant Garde. They will ship over the 100 ml bottle of Toomey's Awaken uh, Distill, which is the next straight to parfum. All right. And don't forget to use my code over at Soul Avant Garde for 20% off, Dedrick20. Um, and it's a plethora of luxurious niche fragrances. And most importantly, they have sampling. All right. So, Expensive fragrances are like that. You just don't want to blind buy, all right? Unless you just want to jump off the porch and be a blind buy warrior for $300, $400 fragrance. Yeah, even with 20% off, you're paying a pretty penny. But get you a sample, all right? They have a lot of the uh, uh, big variety of sampling. Use the 20% off code for that as well. Get the sample, see if you like it, and then circle back around if you want to get you a full bottle. All right, congratulations, Josh. Congratulations for sure. All right, y'all, let's get into today's video. YouTube, what's going on, YouTube? What is going on, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, Deirdre Ellis Jr., and I'm back with another fragrance video, all right? Smell good family. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, fantastic, super duper, stupendous, however you want a word, you doing good. I hope that you indeed are, okay? So, today's video, man, I have been having some great conversations um, about elevating your fragrance uh, wardrobe, your fragrance um, experience, so to speak. And what I mean by that is I've had some gentlemen who are in their mid to late 20s. They're getting ready to roll over into their 30s and they're kind of tired of wearing the same old thing for every situation. So follow me, all right? Today we got five fragrances that I feel you can elevate your fragrance game uh, or your fragrance experience from what you normally wear and no shade to the fragrances that I'm going to discuss that these will help elevate, uh, help you elevate from, but it's a legit topic and I can appreciate it, you know what I mean? So, of course, there's different levels to fragrances, absolutely, but the topic of, hey man, I've been wearing this for a while, it, it smells great, I love it, but I'm wanting something new, something more challenging, something more uplifting, and I got you covered today, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and jump off with this fragrance here, the Everyday Scent, all right? The Everyday Scent, something you, you can wear, and some of the more popular fragrances like your Blue de Chanel's or your Dior Sauvages, um, people who are just not in the community um, probably have never heard of this fragrance. And um, introducing it to them today, this could be something that you can wear every single day, no matter the time of year. This is one of my personal favorites from the house of Mancera. Everyday scent, Sadrat Broise. Sadrat Broise could definitely, definitely be something to elevate your everyday uh, fragrance experience, okay? Everywhere you go, there's a Dior Sauvage or a Blue de Chanel or a YSLY or something for that, um, around that neck of the woods in the neighborhood that is an everyday scent. Hey, you can wear this every day, no problem. Well, so can, so you, so, <laughs> so can this one. This one is something that gives a different type of scent experience, quality, uh, profile, you know what I mean? So. Uh, you wear this, I guarantee you, in the average settings, no one's probably ever heard of this or smelt it before unless you're dealing with an enthusiast or a collector or somebody like me and you who watch these videos every single day. From the house of Mancero, so Drop Boise could definitely be elevate, uh, an elevating uh, experience um, in your everyday wear fragrance for sure. So Drop Boise by Mancera is an excellent choice for sure. You can get this for a really good price 
Really good price. You can get your bottle of Mancera, four ounce bottle for around 70 to 80 bucks. Just depends on where you're looking, all right? Up next, let's go to the everyday office scent, all right? Now, I just kind of use me in this situation in my everyday work experience and this is where the conversation came from all right so most people in the everyday office scent i hear a lot of prada loam i hear a lot of prada loam low i hear a lot of versace uh poor ohm i hear a lot of uh, dolce gabbana edt the one edt i hear a lot of that but this one right here is definitely something that can raise and elevate your game uh, with your scent profile to the office from the house of Narcisco Rodriguez. We have Blue Noir, for him, Blue Noir, the EDP. The EDP. This stuff is boss, <laughs> has boss written and the juice is boss. Everything about this is beautiful. Great for the office, a very, a very, very good and very wearable vetiver uh, fragrance for sure. You have this amber in it as well. Something very smooth and refined. Something when you're not, uh, you're gonna smell awesome and you're not gonna offend anybody, all right? This definitely has this kind of soft toe touch and soft approach um, um, as well. And this is something for sure, you put a few sprays on. Number one, you're gonna smell different. Number two, this is gonna be maybe uh, uh, something that you just kind of wear out to the office Monday through Friday if you're in that type of environment for sure. I for sure have worn this a bunch of times to the office and no slight, slout, no slight <laughs> to Versace for own. Um, no diss to uh, uh, Prada alone, none, all right? But if you're looking to elevate, kind of step it up a bit, you're kind of tired of the same old suggestions and kind of the same old, oh, this is for the office, this is a masterpiece for the office. Hey, so is this too. On discount, you can get it for a great price. You're gonna be, you're gonna smell something uh, different um, and you're gonna come off as rare all right not in the community but out in the world yes you will from the house of Narcisco Rodriguez for him Blue Noir EDP is great for the office definitely can elevate your office experience with this fragrance all right up next let's talk about date night all right the majority of the time probably for the everyday um, the everyday man who's probably going out on a date or moving out and about around. You're not really looking at things like this, what we're getting ready to talk about. Usually you hear one million. Usually you hear one million lucky. Usually you hear Dior Sauvage. Usually you hear um, uh, Dolce Gabbana, the one EDP. A lot of things that you could just go run out to your local dealers, grab, and they smell good and they'll work. But if you're looking for something to just change the game, if you're looking for something to absolutely cause a problem, this is one, in my opinion, that could definitely do that on the date night. You will grab her attention and keep it. From the house of Zahara, we have Signature Tabak. Signature Tabak. Listen, this is phenomenal and exceptional. For a well put together man, clean, dressed to impress, not playing any games. A couple of sprays of this, she's gonna wonder where you're from. You're gonna be an alien. <laughs> you're gonna come off as a species unknown with this coming off you, especially when you're put together. So much going on in this fragrance, not gonna break it down now, but a very realistic tobacco leaf uh, in here. You have a touch of oud in here. You have um, um, some smokiness. You have uh, uh, just a well-rounded, um, masculine masterpiece with this fragrance. And if you're with a woman and you want to assert that, this is something to look into. Now you can sample this on zaharoff.com, but for me, if you're trying to elevate, that's what this video is about, elevate to something that could just change the environment, change the vibe, and something much more serious that you could lock into. If you're trying to make that first impression, look into this one. From the house of Zaharoff, we have Signature to back. Definitely a game changer. Nothing like your one millions, nothing like your Sauvages. This is something different for sure, all right? All right, let's go to the everyday casual wear. Many of these fragrances, Mont Blanc Explorer, yeah, Sauvage, Blue de Chanel, YSL. There's a lot of fragrances that 
are you know Swiss Army knife, so to speak. They can they can do a lot in a lot of different situations and scenarios, but this is one I feel is familiar and it could be the elite level of its quality. This could change uh, and elevate your thought process when you're having a casual day from the House of Parfums de Mali, we have Percival. Now this DNA is familiar. This is Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. This is uh, Mont Blanc, uh, uh, what Mont Blanc uh, uh, EDT. Um, there's a bunch of different variations of this, but Parfums de Marley took a hold of it and they put it on its um, most elite quality level. Fresh, spicy, musky. Um, this stuff is very good for uh, t-shirt, jeans, sneakers, or shorts, t-shirt, hat backwards, sun uh, glasses on, out maybe doing some shopping, having some fun, stopping by a fun restaurant, or something where you're just floating throughout the day. Maybe the windows are down. Maybe the maybe the uh, the sunroof is open. Maybe it's just one of those get fly type of days, but you want something that's not too serious, but something that's not super fun, something that's kind of right there in the middle, and this right here could get you um, to that uh, elevated level of casual fragrance wearing that you're looking for from the house of Parfums de Marley. This stuff is really good, man, for a casual wear. You have Percival. Good stuff. All right, and last but not least, we're going to go the Middle Eastern route because this is one of the better fragrances for what I'm talking about. Black tie. All right, a black tie vent, suited and booted, um, um, mandatory clean cut baldy your dreads are retwisted your beard is lined up whatever you got going on is mandatory that you get as ready as you can with this style of a fragrance now there's plenty of them out there tom ford's ombre leather um you have uh, 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 a different amount of tom ford's oud wood you have fragrances that are out there a uh, salvatore final gold salvatore Salvatore Ferragamo's uh, Spicy Lev. There's a lot of different fragrances out there that can meet that um, uh, suit and tie, black tie vibe. But this one right here is something different. It's something different. And I would definitely, definitely wear this with that type of occasion to elevate myself. From the house of Paris Corner, from the Privé Zara Luxury Series, we have Ombre de la Luis. Dallawis. This is not talked about. You've probably never seen this or heard of it, but this is an inspired by with the twist from Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad. And when I say with the twist, this is more heavy on the incense and the benzoin raspberry. You do get that oud in there that starts off the fragrance for sure, but it kind of swoops down, all right, as the fragrance as this fragrance continues to develop. But then that raspberry and that benzoin come in, the incense hovers around, and it kind of gives it um, a, a very respectable, but interesting, mysterious type of feel for sure. Now, if you smell Ombre Nomad, do you need this? Probably not. But if you look for something where the oud is a little bit dialed back, and you're looking for something that's not uh, as roaring or in your face, this is something to look into. Now, this is an extract depart from concentration for sure, but it's different from Ombre Nomad, all right? It's kind of like, um, <laughs> like you got Mountain Dew and you got Diet Mountain Dew, and this is it. But in those type of settings, that's what you want. You don't want to be wearing Ombre Nomad where it's going to choke somebody out because it can. This one's a little bit more to the chest, to the vest, very rich, very potent, um, and it's going to create a conversation. They might not ask you what you're wearing, then, but they might ask you, man, You they might tell you, man, you smell tremendous. It's gonna go on a respect, it's gonna command attention, and this is good. You can get this for around $40, $40. Presentation is awesome, the juice is fed. Look how dark the juice is. I've had this for a little while, got a small dent in it, but this is something if I'm looking for to command the room or command where I'm at, this is it, especially when I'm dressed down, head to toe, black tie, suit and tie, something of that nature for sure. From the house of Paris Corner, we have Privé Zara Luxury Series, Ombre de la Luis. This stuff is serious business, man. Serious business, all right? 
All right, Smell Good family, I know a different type of video, different style of a video, but I have this conversation, I've, ha I've been having this conversation as of late with, with men that are in their mid-20s crossing over to their 30s and they want to elevate their game. And these are five fragrances that can elevate from what, they, from what you normally wear and what you're used to to kind of coast you along into a new lane, so to speak. So let me know down below, a lot of you guys who've already had that crossroads, so to speak, with fragrances. What are some of the fragrances that you kind of left behind and kind of moved up to, what you elevated yourself to because something just became a little bit too repetitive for you, all right? Let me know down below in the comments. I would love, love, love to hear what you guys uh, have been through and what you guys have to think of today's video, all right? Until next time, y'all know what's up, man. Splack it up, splack it down, splack it that thing all around. Remember what you put out in this world. That's exactly what you are going to get back. All right, appreciate y'all. Love y'all, man. Y'all take care. All right, peace.